Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on comic penciling. Uh, this time I'm going to go through uh, my process for finishing and rendering. Um, going through spot blacks, like spotting out your blacks and figuring that out and then doing some rendering with the cross hatching and whatnot. So let's just go through the panels. I pretty much am going to work on this first page and I already did the line work for the first panel here like I showed you there and the second panel is already put in uh, with the limited rendering but also the third panel is uh, they're all about the same state uh, just pretty much the line art without much rendering so the fourth panel is a shot of Green Lantern um, Hal and Tomar flying into the city so this is the one I'm going to demonstrate and show uh, what I'm going to do here <clears throat> so this method is pretty much something I picked up between a few different artists kind of combine it um, from like Dave Finch David Finch and Alvin Lee has some cool stuff uh, for doing buildings in the background and kind of um, a cool process so uh, what I normally do is grid out the whole thing and then freehand uh, well I grid out a perspective grid and then I do all the buildings freehand and everything freehand, so I think it's a quicker way. Um, but we'll get into it. Uh, it's going to be a, a time lapse video here in a second. But before you do anything, uh, you got to sharpen up because it's kind of like I don't know. One of the most important things you can keep uh, in mind is always having a sharp pencil and you'd be really surprised at how far that goes. Um, and I go one step further and I, I make these little scratches on this page to get a little, a little bit of a finer point. Um, not super necessary right now since I'm gonna be doing a lot of the, <coughs> the blacks, so spotting out somewhere the blacks are. Um, but here's uh, the time-lapse video of pretty much how I do this fourth panel. And I worked on this fourth build, the the first building to the left first, and you can kind of see how it looks, and how much more depth and realism you get out of it. So I'm going to do that pretty much for the whole thing. And um, overall, uh, it's literally the same process, and it gets tedious because there's so many buildings, so many windows. But it's actually kind of fun. You can put on music and or a movie or something, and hang out and and render out, kind of like just lose yourself in, in um, rendering. If you know the fundamentals of, of lighting, which is really important, like this doesn't really matter if you don't know that, um, you know, this could be a little bit more difficult. But pretty much the principles of lighting um, is to try to keep it simple for, for, for comic books especially because um, this page is going to be shrunken down and it's, uh, the lighting doesn't need to be super complex, but uh, for especially new artists, it's easier to do a one light source. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here, where I have the sun, or whatever it is, because it's an alien planet. One of the stars <laughs> is coming in from right to left, kind of like at a, it's like two o'clock in the day, or no, more than that, because it's shadowing more. So I don't know, four or something, because it's put in heavy shadows so it's pretty horizontal to um, everything else it's not really it's nowhere close to noon but um, so everything on the left side is gonna be lit pretty harsh because uh, it's sunlight it's direct sunlight so a lot of it's gonna be real strong blacks um, and I'll explain a little bit of the specifics here uh, I usually lay down um, like a cast shadow, let's just say, like the building I'm working on right now, and these windows, uh, each window is going to have a little cast shadow, and maybe the whole building would be casted into black because it's it's the side of the wall that's opposite of the sun. So maybe that whole thing would be black, but I'm trying to keep it a little bit more visible just so you can see. Um, but like I do on that first building, it's one cast shadow from like the ledge and then um, you want to imagine the windows are inset so you put a little a little another cast shadow on the rim 
and a lot of times I'll double up the lines on everything and it kind of helps with the uh, background stuff I'll talk about that a little more but uh, it looks like I've moved on to doing uh, Green Lantern and his costumes got like a lot of black um, on the limbs and then like the I don't know the, the main torso part is green uh, so I pretty much have to light it opposite um, just show really strong highlights on the black whereas you're only shadowing out the strong shadows on the green stuff so the chest is kind of um, gonna appear more white because it's gonna be colored green um, so I lit it the same way and he's flying in and uh, yeah it's pretty simple if you know the lighting source and kind of just start imagining where you know the shadows will lie um, and Green Lantern is kind of a weird character to light because he's always glowing so it's kind of up to interpretation of how much you want to show the blacks like how much of the light from the ring is you know affecting the global lighting but overall I just lit it normally and then you know I figure you know I'll leave it to the colorist I feel like that's a good way to go he'll haze out whatever needs to be hazed out and um, so this is an interesting city I don't know I just kind of ad-libbed doing the architecture I wanted something similar to you know our world but at the same time I wanted something obviously not from here a lot of a lot of round shapes round shapes will always give you like a weird um, alien look to it so I had, you know I'd keep things generally square but round edges here around windows um, and every once in a while throw in a regular sized and regular looking building because that would really you know mixing the two just like forces the viewer to you know blend these ideas together so um, yeah just trying to keep it not completely alien it's it's tough with design designing buildings designing anything you only want to do something um, you only want to put a spin on it you don't really want to design something totally new and totally freaky because if I really designed a city that was completely alien it wouldn't be appealing I, I, I guarantee these a real alien you know civilization is not gonna look anything like ours and it's not gonna be anything close to what uh, we recognize as normal so you know the idea here is to keep it kind of um, relatable and not to go too far it's a, it's a fine line you know this building I'm working on right now is almost like ours like there's some weird shapes here and there some weird cuts and that's kind of what makes it look a little a little more alien but for the most part it's a it's an earth building um, put these little balconies all around it and it's 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 kind of a battle with these what the shade um, you know there's a lot of things you you know there's a technique I think David Finch talks about it where you want to every other building you want to kind of black out and shadow to keep the building separated and, and um, clear the shapes so everything pops off of each other so that's what I'm also trying to do and it kind of naturally happens with this horizontal kind of style lighting you know you just can't help but have one side totally black uh, if it was all more like noontime you know everything would be underlit or uh, overlit so all the shadows would be underneath and things might not pop as much so I might have to you know mess with where the shadows are going and and that's where it might be a little harder to I'm just trying to say it's natural right now to pop out these buildings because of the shadows um, okay so doing Tomari um, I really like this pose. It's probably, I think it's my favorite part of the, the panel is just this pose. It wasn't the original pose that I had on the thumbnail, that's for sure. And I just wanted him to be like almost, he's a more, I don't know, he's like an older Green Lantern. And he's been in the game for a long time. So I just think he's going to be more stylish and just doing things like with a little more finesse. You know, whereas Hal Jordan's like a, almost a brute in some ways. You know, he just does it 
doesn't have to be stylish, he just does it and he does it well, but you know, he's not gonna have the finesse of an older lantern, so I just have him in this cooler pose. Um, this little obstruction in the in the foreground here is just um, just something to kind of like round out the panel. That way it kind of forces you to the left side of the page where I want the eye to go. So it kind of rounds out everything. I mean, all the lines are pointing that way anyway, and I did that on purpose. In my past video, I told you that I was gonna cut off panel two a little short um, from the bottom. That way the perspective lines of the city were gonna point to the bottom left, and it makes it easy to lead the eye that way. All right. All right, so pretty much I'm um, jumping around the page and whatever doesn't look good, I hit, you know, with, not doesn't look good, but like doesn't match the lighting and I add some rendering there. Whatever, a cast shadow here or, you know, a couple extra lines there really makes, and I usually put contours around all these buildings, it pops everything out. And always I'm sharpening my pencil the whole time and hitting up that scratch paper. So it's pretty important to keep everything sharp because uh, it can get muddy real quick. Uh, 2H pencil is what I'm using and it doesn't smudge a lot, but yeah, yeah sometimes it's really hard to keep it clean. Um, but it's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna do a part two video on a little bit more of the cross hatching part because I didn't do a lot, I realized. But yeah, we'll do part two on rendering. We'll use maybe another page or something um, a little more organic maybe the buildings don't really call for a whole lot of rendering that way but yeah thanks for watching um, for anybody who's seen my other videos I really appreciate it um, leave comments and subscribe if you want to see more like the video if you really do like it um, I'll be doing them anyway so thanks again and uh, I'll see you next time